How's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode here of Hester's Motorsports YouTube channel. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and then just click the little notification bell that you know when we do more videos. Uh, give us a like on our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Hester's Motorsports and then check out our website at www.hester-motorsports.com all right let's get right to it. this one here it started out as a well it's an fx kawasaki mule fx model and it started out green because i had the green one in stock but he wanted white i didn't have a white one so we actually swapped some body work and uh, set it all up for him we we do a lot of body swaps making sure that the color gets you know customer gets the color that they want so we had that so it was just a real simple swap for us to do for him just to get it that white and black color which looks really good uh, we put our four inch HD lift uh, ends up being about five inches in the front four inches in the rear because we changed the shock angle and we stiffen the right a little bit because these are buttery buttery smooth suspension it's a little bit too soft when you're working you know filling it up with people and gear and all that other stuff so Stiffens up the suspension a little bit, still rides really smooth, but it helps hold more weight. We kept the stock factory wheels and we went with a 28 inch black water tire from ITP, which is a really nice tire. It's an eight ply, still built a radial tire, very good traction. Then, because you know, when we lift it up, the arms kind of droop down a bit more so it actually pulls the wheel in a little bit we add in uh, an inch and a half wheel spacer in here just for maximum stability it, it can fit all of this without a wheel spacer it just work you know brings this out to where it's flush with the body keeps that maximum stance so that way it's you know just keeping our track with really really good on there keeping the tires pushed to the corner of the vehicle for maximum stability then with this lift and these tires this machine has 17 inches of ground clearance right there in the middle so right here in the middle all the way through this is a four-wheel independent suspension machine we have the added a-arm guards front and rear added in kawasaki's factory brush guard this customer did not opt for a winch. Not everybody needs a winch. He does a lot of hog hunting and ranch work and stuff like that. This is going to Kansas and uh, doesn't really doesn't really need that. Then we went with Curtis steel cab, so everything is steel and glass. This is all glass. DOT double laminate safety glass, just like a windshield on a car. We have the windshield wiper. And these cabs are awesome because they seal just like an automobile. Really nice setup. Has these nitrogen pistons here that keep it open, you know, help hold it open and everything. The windshield can open up, so you lift these up, unlock on each side. And then the window will push open and you get lots of airflow. So this whole windshield will hinge outward about five, six inches all the way across. Now, guys like switches. Check this out. So here's all your factory switches, these three right here. We have the rear diff locker and the two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive. And then this is the stock headlights. Now we have in here, we added in a horn. Yeah, it's like 165 decibel air horns, which is pretty awesome. We've got the windshield wiper. We have the in-dash heater, which is, this is from Curtis. So we have the in-dash heater here. You could rotate these. You have two ports up here and you have two more ports, one right here and one down here that you could open and close, rotate, and, and do all that as well. Then, right here, we've got... <laughs> he wanted some 
some funny switches, some kind of real not you know good 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 old boy personalities, uh, you know, much like myself, here. So it's all about having fun and making it your own. So we have our headlights. This is the LED light bar on the front, 52 inch light bar on the front, 20 inch light bar on the rear. And then we have the beer lights and the apocalypse lights. These are the two side lights. So this is the driver side 20 inch light bar and dri driver side, or sorry, passenger side right side LED light bar. And that's the driver side left light bar. So this thing could be ridiculously bright in every direction. Very, very nice. Sliding out here. Kind of show this show this all off here. You got you know sliding windows here, which is really nice. These are also glass. Got glass right there, and you can slide it open and closed. You have the largest bed of anybody on these FX mules. A huge diamond plate bed here and dumps. We also have a rear window to allow air to come through, you know, so you could have the front window open and then this window open and do all that. So there's a, there's a look at the light bars there. These are flood and focused light bars, 52 inch in the front, 20 inches all the way around. So we vastly improved the off-road terrain ability capability of this vehicle tremendously you have an awesome heater an awesome cab this can be an awesome hunting vehicle the everything vehicle go have some fun he's gonna go out hog hunting turn everything into daylight really awesome so the biggest part of the question is what can we build for you today so give us a call like I said this one's going to Kansas so, I mean, we have a lot of customers that will have us fully build turnkey vehicles and uh, ship them out. This customer, he's actually coming all the way down to pick it up. So, like I said, give us a like. Thank you for watching.